Welcome to Lesson 7, Elements in a Formula. Look at the periodic table. Notice how elements can have two types of symbols, either a single capital letter or it can be a capital letter that is followed by a lowercase letter. Most countries use these symbols for the elements. This allows scientists who do not speak the same language to communicate their findings to one another. Symbols on the periodic table must be written in your notes exactly as they appear on the periodic table. Your work will be very confusing if you do not use the correct uppercase and lowercase letters. For example, if you write capital C, small o, that is called cobalt. You have one cobalt atom. But if instead of writing capital C, small o, you write capital C, capital O, that is called carbon monoxide. That means you have one carbon atom and one oxygen atom. The two are very different from one another. Cobalt is a metal. Carbon monoxide is a poisonous gas. Point two, subscript numbers behind the elemental symbol are used to identify the number of atoms in that compound. If no number follows the symbol, only one of that element is present. Here we have C all by itself, so we have one carbon atom. Now we have H with a four following it, which means we have four hydrogen atoms. In the molecule of water, we have H2O. That's H followed by a two, so that means we have two hydrogens. And then O, not preceded by a number, which means we have one oxygen. Point three, sometimes brackets are used in the formula. The subscript number following the bracket is multiplied to everything inside the bracket. I have a Cl and a Cl, giving me a total of two chlorines. I have a C, which gives me one carbon atom. It is inside brackets, so I have to multiply it by four, giving me a total of four carbon atoms. H, there's two of them. It is also inside of brackets, so I have to multiply it by the four, giving me a total of eight hydrogen atoms. CA, there's one CA, and I know the C goes with the A because the A is a lowercase, so it belongs to the C that preceded it. And there's only one of them, so I have one calcium atom. I also have one manganese, but it is inside of brackets, so I will have to multiply it by two, giving me a total of two manganese atoms. I have four oxygen also inside of brackets, so I will have to multiply that by two, giving me a total of eight oxygen atoms. Point four, if a number precedes a chemical formula, then there is more than one of that formula present. In this case, the number that precedes the formula is multiplied by everything in the chemical formula. If I have barium fluoride, I have one barium atom, and two fluorine atoms. If I placed a two in front of the BAF2, that means I have two barium fluorides and everything must double. So one barium atom becomes two barium atoms and two fluorine atoms becomes four fluorine atoms. In calcium permanganate, I have one calcium atom, two manganese atoms and eight oxygen atoms. If I placed a three in front of there, that would give me three calcium permanganate crystals. So that means one calcium atom would become three, two manganese atoms would become six, and eight oxygen atoms would become, eight multiplied by three, would give me 24 oxygen atoms. Our examples. This is the way I want you to complete the assignment. First, we'll write down what elements are present in the formula. I have P and I have Cl. 
I know the C and L are together because the L is lowercase and it cannot be by itself. So it belongs to the C. So P, there's two of them. So I have two P's. CLs, there's 10 of them. So I have 10 CLs. In sodium sulfate, I find Na, I find S, and I know the S is not with the O because the O is uppercase, so they cannot be together. So S, and I also have O. Na, there's two of them. S is not followed by a number, so there is only one sulfur. And O, there are four oxygen. Let's start by writing out the elements that are present. We will start with cobalt-3 carbonate. I have CO, and I know the C and O are together because the O is lowercase and it belongs to the C. I also have C by itself and an O by itself. CO, there are two of them, so I have two cobalt atoms. Carbon, there's just one of them. It's inside brackets, so I will have to multiply that by three, giving me a total of three carbon atoms. Oxygen, there are three of them. It is also inside of brackets, so I will have to multiply it by three, giving me a total of nine oxygen atoms. Now let's look at lead for sulfate. I have PB. I know they go together because the B is a lowercase. I have S all by itself, and I have a capital O which goes all by itself. PB, there is just one of them. So I have one lead atom. Sulfur, there is just one of them. But it is inside of brackets, so I must multiply it by the two giving me a total of two sulfur atoms. Oxygen, there are four of them. It is also inside of brackets, so I will have to multiply it by the two. And that gives me a total of eight oxygen atoms. Final set of examples. We'll start with ammonium iodide. First, again, we will write out the elements that are present. We have capital N, capital H, and capital I. Nitrogen, there's just one N, and I will have to multiply it by the number that precedes the formula, which is a two, giving me a total of two nitrogen atoms. Hydrogen, there are four hydrogens. I will have to multiply that by the two that precedes the formula. So I have a total of eight hydrogen atoms. Iodine, I have just one. And again, I will multiply by the number that precedes the formula. And that gives me a total of two iodine atoms. Now let's look at strontium acetate. I have SR. I have a capital C. I have a capital H. I have a capital C, but I will not rewrite capital C because it's already in my list of atoms. I have a capital O, and I have another capital O, so again, I will not rewrite that O for it is already in my list. SR, there's just one. And I will have to multiply it by the three that precedes the formula, giving me a total of three strontium atoms. C, I have one here and one here. That's a total of two carbons. I will have to multiply it by two because it is inside of the brackets. And then I will multiply by the three that preceded the formula. 
and that gives me a total of 12 carbon atoms. Hydrogen, I have three inside of brackets, so I have to multiply by two, and then I will have to multiply by the number that precedes the formula, which is three, giving me a total of 18 hydrogen atoms. Finally, I have an O and an O, which is a total of two O's. They are inside the bracket, so they must be multiplied by the two. And then I will multiply by the three that precedes the formula, giving me a total of 12 oxygen atoms. Now on to the assignment. To complete the assignment at the bottom of the page, the answers are out. Check often to make sure that any errors are identified early. There will be a homework check next class to make sure you completed the assignment. The quiz will also be the next day. Before class, look over the notes before the quiz to refresh your skills before the assessment. That is the end.